My name is Nathan Ness, and I started doing art as a little kid when I used to live on the reservation with my grandma. And so that's how I really got started because my, my grandma didn't have a lot of money. She would give me a piece of paper, a pencil, and we'd go her sheep and just hang out in the canyon. I'll sit there and I'll draw like the canyons and stuff like that, or birds. And when I was in elementary school, a lot of the teachers would ask me to draw something like a football helmet, just anything. Just Whatever it came to mind, I got to middle school, got into graffiti, and I did a lot of graffiti art for people's yearbook and stuff. And then I got to high school, did artwork and murals for like the local schools and stuff. And then I joined the military, and I kind of let go of my art background for a while. And just I went to Iraq, and I did a lot of drawings and stuff on letters. And I would send home letters with drawings and everything. And, Come to find out, it's known as war letters. And I was like, wow, when I went to UNM, I found out it was known as war letters because I took art history. <laughs> and then, um, after I got out of the army, I kind of just traveled everywhere, lived here and there, and then I moved to Albuquerque eventually for our school, and then kind of just really took off from there because my first mural job was at a daycare center when my kids were going to school, I did the whole building covered in Disney characters. And that was really fun. And then from there, people just were stopping by and like, oh wow, can you do my kids' room? Can you do this? And then I started doing slow jobs here and there, little playhouses, little houses. And eventually got more into art when I got, about, I would say about my junior year in UNM. And I started doing art shows and I started meeting more people and then, <clears throat> Yeah, so then I graduated from UNM with a bachelor's in art, and then I met Dan. I came in here one day, and I just like, I was driving by, and I saw, hey, in the arts in the Indian gallery. So I came in here, and I looked around, and I was like, wow, and started talking to Dan, and that's how we just, we just started talking one day. Just I just so happened to stop by here, and we started talking, and it all took off from there. So we established an awesome friendship and workship, and so, Here's a few of my paintings in here. And it's just it's been awesome ever since then. And then started getting more commissions, more murals, and my latest mural is the Nativa Lodge and it's titled Healing Through Chaos. And it kind of tells a story of how I grew up on the Navajo Nation and there's a lot of alcohol, a lot of drugs, and everything was involved. And so a lot of my families alcoholics and so I was like okay we gotta figure out how to do this and so it tells the story of when I grew up from there the military and then all the way around and then now on the side it has like all my art that I do in galleries and stuff so it's a really good history story there if you see it in person it's really nice and, well when I first started out I'm, sometimes I'll think of a theme like okay what's my theme what are my colors? What, what should I do? And then I start up and I was like, okay, I look at the room, I look at the wall and I'm like, this will look good here, this will look good there. And then I'll kind of somewhat sketch the whole room out. And then from there I'll go and then I'll start painting. But as, I, as I'm painting along, it'll be like, uh, I'm not really liking this part here. So I'll paint over it, I'll paint something else on there. So it's kind of like a transformation of everything, just colors and vibrating. And it's, it starts out one way and ends a different way. And so it's always, it's, it's fine. I like it, enjoy it. Great. Well, we love what you do, man. Keep uh, it up. Thank you. <laughs> Great.